Saints. Welcome to Confessions from a Red Couch podcast. I'm your host, Janae. Um, this podcast is all about improving yourself so that you can improve your relationship with others because you don't want to take your trash to other relationships because it's just garbage. That's all you'll get. Um, <laughs> welcome back, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, you know, subscribing and watching and waiting. I do appreciate you guys, and I love you because, you know, you're my family. Um, last week, I'm sorry, last episode, episode 16, we talked about how you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. Everybody is not going to like you, and everybody's not going to be your friend, and, you know, that's all good. There's nothing that's wrong with that. You know, you just have to make sure you surround yourself with people who love you and support you and care about you. Um, this week, I'm excited. I have a guest, and um, I'm going to introduce her. Her name is Michelle Perry. She is out of Dallas, Texas. She's going to come on and talk about her stuff and what she's doing. Hey, y'all. Yay. Thank Thank you so I've made it to the big time. Yeah. <laughs> so good to be here. So excited to chat with you, Janae. I love what you do. I love what you stand for. And I'm just so excited to be here. Um, you know, we'll get into to me at the end, I think, because I think we got more important things to talk about. But I'm just so excited <laughs> to be here. Just motivate, inspire, chit chat, and just get it on. Very good, y'all. Michelle is she's uh, she's trying to wait to the end, but I want her to like promote herself throughout this whole thing because she is amazing. Um, she has a website called Successful Diligence. Um, she motivates us just to be basically live our purpose driven lives. Like that's what she does. And uh, I actually signed up for a class this week. I don't think she knows that, but I signed up for the free class. <laughs> I got the, the, the free um, empowerment mindset course. So yes. success is all about inspiring and motivating, really helping people be authentic and know their truth and then live their truth out so that they can impact the world in an amazing way. Yes. And so we do um, a podcast, which is Successful Diligence on most podcast platforms. We have a school, uh, it's online school, online courses. Mm -hmm. So we've got the free empowerment mindset course uh, that Janae, yeah, you signed up for. I did. Um, <laughs> Got some courses at different price tiers to meet different people's levels and uh, things are going to be popping in 2020 because i've been working diligently this year so yeah um success.com is where you find all the uh insider news we've got a newsletter also so yes and that all her information will be in the show description after the show i'm just excited to have you on here thank you for being here with me i appreciate you <laughs> And then, y'all, Janae was on the Successful Diligence podcast as well, episode 30. So go check that out as well. She dropped some real wisdom nuggets. So you got to check that out, too. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm happy you're on the show because uh, people, I guess... I, I do the podcast. It's not because, you know, I'm a life coach or anything. I just like to talk about, you know, things that I've learned through life. And, you know, and I like to... to get it out there because you know everybody goes through things and sometimes we think we're going through it by ourselves and we're not so that's kind of reason why i started the podcast and i'm happy you're on to kind of bring your wisdom and your insight on this information so let's get the party started you ready i'm ready <laughs> all right so first things first uh we are going to talk about dating random lessons in dating and so uh the the tip that i have today because y'all know i'm not dating anymore and neither michelle is married and i am married and so we don't have to go through the dating world thank you jesus <laughs> but um today's tip is uh, don't don't get upset by rejection when you're dating Mm -hmm. um, that's the whole point of dating. Dating is to figure out what you like and what you don't like. And also the other people who you are dating, they're trying to figure that out as well. So, you know, um, you, you date to find, go ahead. Sometimes, sometimes when you're rejected from another person, that is the biggest blessing in your life biggest. ever. Biggest. Exactly something horrible biggest because you can you can get all of that <laughs> you don't want to be with somebody you're not supposed to be with for 15 years that's mm -mm. just and you don't want to be in a marriage yeah you don't want to be in a marriage with somebody for 15 years and you just look at them like this every day i don't know why <laughs> i married you so rejection <laughs> is necessary it's okay you know that mm -hmm. just means that you'll find something else or something else will find you later on all right do you and agree <laughs> 
<laughs> learn to learn from it. Like when when I was dating and I was getting rejected, mm -hmm. I there's six billion people in the world. You're, you only need one. You need one. And what I learned to do is to up my standards. So when I got rejected from that one, or if I didn't like that one, okay, my standard elevates. I yep. figure out this I'm negotiable. Mm -hmm. This is what I can. This is what I'm not going to handle. And that's how you get the best person for you so to true. be alive. So true. So true. So you, I'm not saying kiss a bunch of frogs. I'm saying, you know, when the frogs ain't there or when the frogs show you their frogs, you know, just leave it alone. Let it be what it be. The frog is a frog. <laughs> Let it, it is what it is. Yes. The frog is a frog. You know what? I like that. I may, might have to write something about that. The frog is the frog. Quit trying to make it anything else. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it alone. All right, good. So let's get into the social media randomness. And I try to pick some of the best topics out there. And I try to leave Kanye alone and all that foolishness because I'm tired of him. But um, first thing I want to address is Pops. John Witherspoon has passed away. He passed away um, last night. He was 77 years old. And if you don't know him, he's been in so many movies, so many uh, TV shows. And he just brought the laughter wherever he was. Um, the Wayans Brothers show, he was Pops in that. Uh, the Boondocks, he was Grandpa in that. <laughs> Friday, he was on Friday. He was dead, yeah. And then um, Boomerang, that was I think that was his breakout like movie part, Boomerang, when he told us all we had to coordinate. <laughs> he had to coordinate. So, yeah, Gordon. I think he will be missed, uh, his presence. I remember seeing him on TV, like, uh, probably a month or two ago. And, you know, he just had, like, a – still had like a youthful thing to him so it's kind of sad that he's he's gone away um but you know a nice tribute on uh i think i saw it on instagram or mm -hmm. facebook but a nice post of you know just honoring him and yeah. just talking about what a great was so yeah that was pretty good yeah r.i.p pops <laughs> he will be missed and uh we wish yeah. We pray, uh, you know, condolences to his family because it was unexpected. It wasn't, and that kind of gets into what we're talking about. It was unexpected. <laughs> um, it wasn't something they were probably preparing for. <laughs> Kamisha, so I'm going to be reading some of the comments from the Facebook Live because I can see it. <laughs> um, and Kamisha said, bang, bang, because, you know, he was always like, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> always. So he will be missed. Um, moving on. Nia Long, she today's her birthday, and what she, happened? yeah, she is forty nine, and I thought I'd you know bring her up because she still looks good. <laughs> she looks amazing for forty nine. Like girl, yes, she looks amazing. So I think that just goes to show you know if you leave all the negativity out of your life, you drink your water, <laughs> you moisturize. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> you do all those things, you know, you just keep your youthful glow. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get the drama out so I can stay looking good. Girl, thank you. That's makeup. <laughs> it's just makeup. I covered up some stuff. <laughs> uh, all right. And last but not least, uh, Issa Rae. I had to bring her up because she is getting her mogul thing on. Um, and I'm loving it. Like she is just, she's doing her thing. Issa Rae started out with, as a YouTuber, uh, the awkward black girl YouTube show. And that was my show. That's how I was introduced. to her. <laughs> I felt her. I felt her in that. Cause she was me and I was her. <laughs> A language boy, I yeah, tell you, right? Like all the language, and now she has, uh, she has two. Well, actually, three TV shows uh, with HBO. Mm -hmm. One is the um, Insecure, which is in this four, about to start. They're recording their fourth season. Um, the other one is uh, the Black Lady sketch show, comedy show. I hope I said uh -huh. it right. And then a new one she's gonna have out. I forget what it's called. Oh, but it's going to be on HBO. No, it's going to be a YouTube series. I forgot. Well, she's a, I think. Huh? She has a podcast, too. Yeah, I think she does, too. And and she's getting into uh, the music industry. Did you see that? She Yeah, she started a, uh, a music company. 
and all right. already signed. She already has a, an artist signed to her label. So, all right. yeah, she's yeah, doing girl. she's doing mogul things. Yeah. you know, it's possible. Mm-hmm. And then um, I like the quote she said. She was talking about uh, networking, and she said uh, she is saying that a lot of us like to network up. And, you know, we'll call the big names and try to get connections with them. She said, sometimes you just, you you need to reach out on to the people on your level. And I like mm-hmm. that because she was saying, you know, talk to your, your, your classmate that you graduated with. You know, talk to, you know, your homegirl who, who can sing. You know, you may need somebody that can sing and you need background to something like network with the people around you. Because they have talents that you don't know about or talents that you can use. So you could hook up with each other and, you know, make things happen. Exactly. You could partner up and then level up together. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Partner up, level up. Then everybody's coming up together and people are going to be calling y'all. Talking about, hey. <laughs> calling us. Talking about, hey. <laughs> there all of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's wrong for everybody. We just have to, you know, learn to work together and ex- accept each other for where we are and who we are and just, you know, get it together. Get it together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause we're powerful when we're together. When we let all these other differences, you know, separate us. That's when, yeah. <laughs> you and I. Yeah. You and I. T. Y. I love it. Huh? That's the only way to go. That's it. That's the only way you can go is unity, connecting with one another. You know, all the all the messiness and pettiness is not necessary. You connect, you good. You know, mm-hmm. make things happen. <laughs> all right. Only way- huh? Only way to level up. That's it. That's the only way you can do when you do it together. All right, let's get into confession time. I'm ready for this one. I got some great questions for you, by the way. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> so tonight we're going to be talking about what happens with when life deals the unexpected, you know, and, and not just, you know, financial things, but when, you know, that family member passes away that you weren't ready for or, you know, uh, that spouse does something real stupid and you don't know whether to punch them in the face or just, you know, walk away, you know, it's things <laughs> like that. So we're going to talk about tonight, like, you know, what, what should you do? How should you react? You know, what, what should you really do in those situations? Because they happen to all of us, every single one of us. We go through things, and it's like, child, I quit. <laughs> I quit. I just, I quit. I think I quit like three times in August, and then once, no, five times this month in October. <laughs> I quit. I just said I quit. I don't know what y'all want to do, but I quit. So <laughs> you always come back. Yeah, come you back. come back, but you still I quit because I don't want to mm-hmm. do it. <laughs> All right. So what are some? Um, we kind of I just talked some. So Michelle, what are some good examples of unexpected situations, or what would Girl. you define as an unexpected situation? I mean, anything could be unexpected from your commute to work and you get into a car accident. Mm-hmm. Um, an unexpected illness yeah. that you were of prior. You go to the doctor and he takes a blood test and then comes back with some news. Right. Or your spouse comes back with some news. Yeah. Um, financial, you mentioned that. That mm-hmm. can be something. Um, family members, not only family members passing on, but also family secrets coming out that you were not aware Ooh. of. That can, that that can I, yeah, that's a hard one. <laughs> very I had that happen to me. My, uh, I have a, so my father left when I was three, my mm-hmm. parents divorced. Mm-hmm. My father had a, a baby boy and I found out from my grandmother Ooh. that I, and it was because my father cheated on my mother, had my brother and my mother didn't tell me for 22 years. Oh no. Out to brunch with my grandmother, and she saw she mentioned it, and I was like, "I have a brother. What?" So I confronted my mother. Yeah, and my like that had nothing to do with us. I'm like, wait a minute, That's yes, it does. Nothing to do with us. So um, it's funny because I didn't know his name. She didn't know his name, but it's interesting. When I was 32, uh-huh. my found the divorce papers with my social security number on it, yeah. and he looked me in two days. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Well, at least you got to make that connection 
mm-hmm. I will say this. Uh, you know, sometimes that happens and people don't know that they're brother and sister. Like, what if what if y'all aren't that far apart in age? That's you true. Only four. And we I lived in D.C. because my husband's from D.C. Yeah. And my brother was a firefighter in D.C. We didn't cross paths. Right. But what if we did? What if we did? But what if you would have? Oh, mm-hmm. that is crazy. And it's funny <laughs> whenever, like, family secrets come out like that, it's like when they think you're old enough to handle it. <laughs> Well, she was never going to tell me. My grandmother, she that's the the only reason I know. Yeah. She, my mother. Wow. So, yeah. That is crazy. All right. Yeah. So so let's let's talk about that. So, uh, you know, we kind of talked about your initial reaction, but like how how did it make you feel? Like, did it affect your relationship with your mom or? Yeah. So, you know, the first thing was just all the emotions come up. Mm-hmm anger, hurt, disappointment, you know, how could shock, how could you not tell me? Right. And at that point in my life, I wasn't, I didn't have the skills that I have now where mm-hmm. there, I now allow myself to feel the emotion right. because you have to feel it to go through it. That's true. And so back then I didn't understand that. So mm-hmm. I just took that emotion and acted out mm-hmm. rather than processing it. So right. Emotion comes up and then you have to make a choice because we all have a choice on how to respond. That's in true. Any situation, I don't care what it is. Any situation, mm-hmm. choice of how to respond. That's true. And you got to choose how to respond. I ended up forgiving my mother mm-hmm. and I, I, I had to understand her perspective right. and her to be able to forgive mm-hmm. and then move on and own my own experience right. and then keep that's that's amazing. You did so much better than me because I am still at the whole um I react in my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> and I try not to. Like I do I've I've done better than what I did when I was younger. When I was younger, I would just be like you going to hear <laughs> everything I got to say, honey. I do not care, you know. <laughs> But now I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit better. I have a bigger tolerance about it. Well, I realize that there's consequences for every action. That's true. So that's true. Emotion, the consequences that would come, I didn't really like those. Mm-hmm. So yeah, behavior to change the consequence that I got. So yeah. you know, it's a learning process. Yeah, it is a learning process, and it's still you know some things you have to process, and and it's baby steps. <laughs> it's, mm-hmm. it's baby steps. Um. Uh, okay. So, so let's just say, you know, uh, so you acknowledge your, you acknowledge the way you feel, uh, you know, you acknowledge the way you felt. I like the fact that you said you forgave your mother. You said that, right? I want to make sure I was listening correctly. <laughs> yeah. I, did. I like the fact that you said you forgave her. Cause sometimes we walk in unforgiveness and mm-hmm. we don't really know, uh, you know, how, we don't realize what the other person was really trying to do. You know, mm-hmm. it's never like, uh, sometimes we have to listen to the intentions of the people, especially when it's like you said that we are talking about, you know, just unexpected circumstances and situations, you know, when other people withhold things or the way they react, or, you know, sometimes um, we don't, we don't physically we put don't- ourselves, say it. I, I was listening to um, uh, President Obama was talking. It was like a little video that I was watching, mm-hmm. and he said something that struck me. And I'm not particularly an Obama fan, but well, that's a whole other podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, good people can mm-hmm. do bad, and bad people can do good things. Yeah. Everybody has True. no perfect flaws. True. And so, you know, with my mother, she was not a perfect mother at all. Right. And I had a lot of towards her. But I had to, as I got older and I became a woman, I had to put myself in her perspective mm-hmm. and I eyes and I could understand, okay, if I was in her shoes, I might have made some of those same decisions. Right. Yeah. Or I may I may not have. But for me to hold on to that unforgiveness only hurts me. True. And it's only baggage and stones to my life. And I wanted to be free and light and walk into my truth and my life. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't holding on to all that anger and bitterness. So, so I had true. to let it go. Yeah, so true, so true, so true. I think, um, yeah, that's that's really good. Just holding on to all of that stuff. 
it weighs <laughs> down on you. You know, it just weighs down and it holds you down and you're <sighs> and usually the other person doesn't even know we don't we're not forgiving them. You know, they have no clue. They're moving on. They're just trying to live their life and we're still holding on to this hurt like you hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> and they're looking like, girl, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, you want them to pay, and they ain't even thinking about you they're no more. They're not thinking about pay. Yeah, exactly. They're not thinking about paying for anything because they've like, okay, I messed up. Move on. Next, next thing. You know, and that's that's uh, that was really good. I like that. Okay, so, um, what are what what is some advice or some steps that you think people should take when they hit that bump in the road? When they hit, you know, that barrier, when they hit that, what the world is this? <laughs> what the world is going on? <laughs> so what are some steps that you would, you know, you would say someone would should take when they're going through it? <laughs> I would say the first thing to do is to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people feel something or we try to talk ourselves out of feeling something. Yeah. Always tell the truth. Because emotions come and go, they're not facts. Emotions are indicators true. of what you need to work through. So true, so, yes. So you find out, okay, I tell the truth, this is where I am. And in my course, I talk about finding out where you are, mm -hmm. but you know where you are in order to go to where you wanna go. That's true. And sometimes you can, if you pray, if you meditate, you can find out. For me, I'm a writer, and I know you are as well with your book. <laughs> Holler her book at her book, go get her book. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I always encourage people to journal because for me, when I would write and journal and there's a method to journaling, but mm -hmm. I would do a and dump and it would, it would show me what I was thinking and it would show me what I was feeling. Right. I'm conscious of it, but it would, it would come out in my writing. And yes. so I always encourage the journal, find out what you're thinking, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Yep. And, and once you know the truth, you can make a decision and a choice. Is this serving me or is this not serving me? And if it's not serving you, you got to let it go. That's true. So true. if it is, you, then you, and then you can change your mindset or your viewpoint about it, but you got to make that choice. That's true. I love it. I love, I love it. I love all of it. <laughs> I love it. That's why I had her on. Cause I'm not perfect. I, there's some places I'm mature and some places I'm not. So that's why that's why Michelle is on to give me her insight. Cause I, I know am not. I'm not a coach. <laughs> I just I just talk about the things I'm feeling. <laughs> no, I will say this: mm -hmm. when you have walked through a struggle mm -hmm. and come out side, yeah, you own the lesson. You that's own true. that experience, and that's when you can share it with other people mm -hmm. and people's lives and teach other people because you have actually driven down that road and you know intimately the lessons yeah. the mindset can really help people is because you come in you came out the other side that's so it's true. worth that's true you you're hitting me with some things my husband told me today so I'm, that's why i'm doing this uh, <laughs> uh, i'm just i'm taking it okay i hear i hear y'all i get it i hear y'all okay okay <laughs> I own it all. Um, <laughs> but I get the message. I hear yeah, you. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I, I understand. <laughs> all right, guys. So I heard, I hope you you understood what we were saying. Um, you know, Michelle gave some some amazing like nuggets for this for the confession time. Like, you know, she talked about owning your feelings. She talked about owning your truth when you're going through. Um, you know, and we also talked about seeing both sides and not just your side and not reacting out of feelings. Like I didn't, don't always react out of your feelings, you know, because you you don't know what's really going on, right? So yep. so thank you for that. Thank you for your nuggets for confession time. I appreciate that. <laughs> It's always Love good to it. remind you because you know you once you go through something you're gonna go through something else. That's true, so. and it and it's always something bigger. And you're always mm -hmm. like, I'm not ready for this one, but I guess you are because you're going through it. But it's all to it's so that you can become your best self. That's true because we all have that best version of ourselves mm -hmm. that we have to. And the only way to get to that is to shed those layers that That's are not right. serving. That's they get right. to our. I, I so agree with that. I so agree. And leaving leaving the old stuff in the past. 
Like mm-hmm. leaving that stuff in the past and just walking forward and moving forward. That's always my favorite thing. And I'm going to get into now we're going to move into hashtag. This is So at this one of the schools I used to teach at when they said hashtag, they do hashtag. So ha- hashtag <laughs> lessons learned. And this is where we talk about old school wisdom that, you know, we got from our moms, our grandmas. And I think uh, that's one of the things I want to say is they will always say move forward. You know, just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. You know, all the situations won't last. Just keep moving forward. You know, you'll it'll get past it. Just keep moving forward. So um, I like I like that was my little hashtag. Michelle, do you have anything that you want to share? I do. So you took one of mine because one of my hash one of my hashtags <laughs> is um, I always said that in my pockets. Keep walking. Mm-hmm. But there was church mama, Mama G, mm-hmm. and she said, baby. You're going to do it if you want to. You're going to do it if you don't. You might as well do it because you want to. <laughs> and that and is I, truth. <laughs> I go through it. I might as well choose gratefulness, choose to be positive about it. If mm-hmm. it's going to happen, just go for it. Just go for it. Just do it because it's going to happen anyways. Oh, I like that. I like, I might have to write that one down. I like that one. <laughs> do it because you want to, not because you have to. Woo. That's the word. Yep. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, Michelle, thank you for coming on tonight. I appreciate you. Um, do you want to say some more about where they can find you on Instagram, Facebook, if you have it? I'm going to put it all in the show description, but go ahead and tell them where to find you, social well, media-wise and all that stuff. First of all, I just want to say, Janae, thank you so much. I am so glad that we connected and yeah. y'all... This connection is just, it's going up. We're, we're going to partner up, level up we're together. Up. <laughs> but <laughs> if you even Google successful diligence, it'll be the first two um, things that come up. Okay. But successfuldiligence.com and be kind because the website is under construction. Mm-hmm. Um, you can sign up for the newsletter and get inspiration and motivation to your inbox once a week. I don't spam you. One time a week on Wednesdays, you get an inspirational message. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got Successful Diligence. It's Michelle Perry, Successful Diligence on Facebook. And then on Instagram, it's Successful Diligence. And there's links to the school, to the podcast, it is. the newsletter. It's all there for you. It is. And you'll also be able to find the link um, on my Linktree link. You'll be able to find uh, her link on there. I'm going to put her on there because that's what I do for people be promoting folks because that's what i do <laughs> especially if i yeah if you got good stuff i'm promoting you um uh also for me just closing out notes for me um this is the last week to get uh the ebook for free if you sign get- up yeah it's get it <laughs> it's the last week to get it um so if you want to know how to download it for free just click the link com- go to the link confessions from and You'll see the information there. Um, I don't have any new things going on. I'm just, you know, I'm just moving forward. Yet? yet. You don't have anything new things yes. yet? Yeah, the- yet. I don't. I don't have anything, any new things yet. But um, there's, I will say this, there's another book in the works. And um, I'm excited about it. It's going to be a longer book. Um, it's going to be called The Great Escape. Uh, basically, we're going to talk about identifying toxic relationships doesn't matter what type of relationship it is, but identifying toxic relationships and how to get out of it. Great. Ooh, girl, so needed. I'm excited for that. That is so needed. Thank you. World. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing forward. I figure, you know, the first one was, you know, the start to push me into doing other things. So I know I could do it. The first one was oh. letting me know that I can do it. So I'm going to keep pushing forward. You can do things you don't even know you can do yet. That's true. That's true. So I'm just going to, you know, stay with the faith and, <laughs> You know, work, just keep working. <laughs> keep walking and you'll walk into your greatness. There keep it walking. is. There it is. I like that. And we are going to end on that, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Catch me uh, not next week, November 13th. Catch me for that. It is going to be a sibling uh, podcast. Ooh. I'm going to have my brother and my sister on and we're going to talk about, you know, brother and sister things. <laughs> So I'm, yeah, I'm excited about it. So thank you, Michelle, for being on once again. And thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate everybody. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, kids. Bye. <laughs>